In today's video, we're talking all about glutes and the movements that really helped me go from flat to fat. Let's go. We develop physiques, we train, we educate, and we empower. Now, if you didn't see Alex's video where he revealed some crazy secrets on glute growth and the tools that are gonna help you out, you might wanna go watch that first because I definitely use those in these exercises. A couple of months ago, I had a friend in town and we were training glutes as friends do. And I was talking to her about the movements that I felt completely revolutionized my glute training. And I shared them with her and I thought, cause you guys are my friends too, I would go ahead and share them with you. I do wanna disclaim that these aren't the only exercises that I would recommend for glute growth. These are the ones that I've personally seen the most benefit of. So let's go ahead and get into the exercises that have completely revolutionized my glute growth. Now, starting off with number one, it is going to be the leg press. Now, it's not just any leg press. We do have the Cybex squat press, and I love it because it's a great alternative for me to a barbell back squat, which because I have longer femurs and a longer torso, barbell back squats are really difficult for me to get the most output. So going to a squat press is incredible. I'm lengthening the glute. You have a lot of stability and I'm really able to get a ton of output from that movement. Now, if you've ever felt like you don't feel your glutes a ton when it comes to leg press, we have videos on that that'll help you out when it comes to foot positioning and angle that the leg press is at and what musculature that you are working because it can be incredible for those big juicy glutes. Right, moving on to exercise number two that has tremendously helped me and it is going to be the bent knee RDL. So this is gonna be an incredible movement that you can do with a trap bar, you can do with a barbell, you can do with dumbbells, but my preference is going to do it with the Smith machine. And the same reason is going to hold for the leg press is it gives me more stability so I can really focus on output. The bar is fixed so I'm able to focus on hinging my hips, really bending at the knee and being able to lengthen that glute and not have to worry about as much stabilization or the bar path. Now, if you are a little bit confused when it comes to RDLs of bent knee versus stiff leg, bent knee is going to bias more glutes and stiff leg is going to bias more hamstrings. Now going on to the third exercise, and I'm cheating a little bit here because I'm including lunges as a whole, but more specifically, split squats and reverse lunges have been huge for building huge glutes. Now I am gonna sound like a little bit of a broken record, but I promise this is the last exercise I'm gonna do it on. It's the reverse lunge in the Smith machine because it gives me some stability and allows me to really focus on output and driving through that front leg. Where if I'm holding dumbbells, I have to focus so much more on balance than just going through the movement. Now, another exercise that is going to be my favorite in the lunge category, where I do think that lunges in general are gonna be so great for your glutes, but the split squat, or even more specifically, the curtsy lunge, as this is going to really focus on the glute med and help with that development. And both of these exercises are going to continue to work the glute in the lengthened range. All right, the fourth and final exercise that I feel has contributed to my glute growth the absolute most is the one you probably all thought was gonna be in this video, which is the hip thrust or the glute bridge. Now I will say I lied a little bit earlier that I wasn't gonna mention the Smith machine again because I do love doing this exercise in the Smith machine and that actually comes down to the setup as I don't wanna pull out the barbell and set up everything. So it's gonna be a great movement to do with a barbell or a dumbbell, but my preference is in the Smith machine and being able to use one of those secrets from Alex's video to help you out there. Now the hip thrust is an exercise that I love to hate on. Same with the split squat. The other two exercises I truly do love, but the last two I love to hate, but I also hate to love because there are exercises that are going to get me a ton of bang for my buck when it comes to my glute training. And I did wanna make sure that I included an exercise that got your glutes to a shortened position within having that hip thrust in play. There you have it. There are the four exercises that I feel have contributed to my glute growth the absolute most but I'll add a little bit more to that. It's not just the exercises, it's nailing down the exercises and the execution of them. These exercises have been in my training for multiple years and it's not until the past year or two that I feel like they have made the most difference because I have better understanding of my body and execution to be able to get that output. 
Now, another thing I wanna mention is, I obviously mentioned the Smith machine a lot, and I know that you might not turn to the Smith machine and think that it's gonna get you all the gains that you're wanting, and I'll admit, I used to be a major Smith machine hater. I used to think, that's Planet Fitness vibes, I don't really need that, until I got one and I absolutely fell in love. It's helped me so much with not having to dread the setup of movements. It's helped with that stability that I talked about and being able to find joy in those movements that maybe I do love to hate, but also hate to love. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're able to include these in your next glute session and we'll catch you in the next one.